Oh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning back into another episode here on the Speedbug channel. We finally got some beautiful weather out and we got both the Grom skis out. And we are on our way to a place we haven't been in a while for the, uh, we're going to the Ducati dealer because my buddy that you always see with the 959, he's selling that joker. So we're going to go check around the showroom since we haven't been there, see what else they kind of have to offer and stuff like that. And uh, we're going to take the reliable Honda Groms there. Because you know we can't go on the Ducati. We would never even make it there. We might even be stuck there. So let's go see and just have some fun cruising around on this nice weekend and beautiful sunshine. See you there. What's up? Good to see you, man. Did you get the Beamer? I just sold it. Did you? Yeah. What was that thing? The, 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 the 15 or the 20? No, the new one. Nah. The one that I saw you up on the avenue with. Nah, I said, too racy for the street. What's up, Omar? They had a recall thing. On the transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a big deal? Only for bikes not in the U.S. Okay. Yeah. So, but it was just... They made the bike very, they said they wanted to make the bike faster and around the track and everything. That's what they did. And it just took a lot of the street characteristics out of it. So the, like the previous gen was a better street bike. Yep. This bike, the new one, well, it was switch it into one of the, modes, the like the seats. It's like, I mean, I think the seat was worse than the V4. And you know how I hated that seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, it just wasn't, it was designed, it was like an R1M. Yeah, I got Yeah, that. yeah. So, no, I hear what's up? You're on TV again. Yeah, I am on TV again. Maybe, maybe if the YouTube will do it automatically. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the 12.99 here. The only Ducati I would ever consider buying. At least it has Acura exhaust on it, so it won't get as hot as quick. But it'll still burn your nuts off. Here's my old bike, and then here's the previous gen. You guys and I had to come in here and see my buddy. He over there selling his bike. And uh, we'll talk a little shit and then head on out. Look at these, look at these big bitches. Wow. Dang, speakers in the back and everything. Here's the cores. Look at this paint scheme on this V4S. That's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. The Multi Strata, the XD Hovel, Hyper Motard, the new one with the new screen. Oh, look, they even left the key in it. Kind of cool. Well, now they moved all the exhaust underneath the seat. So it have to be like slip-ons, and then if you look underneath, here's the cat. So it'll never sound as cool as my last one. I had the last good one still full of problems <laughs> what's, up? what's up how are you what what's are you going doing? on <laughs> uh, yeah wave hello to hi hey hey creeper, creeper. 
Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> So we've all toured this dealership many times, but let's see what else has changed over here. Bunch of Triumphs, old Bonnevilles, and bikes and stuff that looks like that I will probably never own. But some of you viewers like to see this, so now you get to see, now you don't. Oh look, they even have a sprite for me. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I'll go get to see the, the V4R. Too bad these weren't on my v4 i think that looks really cool that tank they exposed the aluminum <laughs> look at this looks looks interesting looks broken <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen well next day and uh i'm notorious obviously for never filming all of the outros but uh, took a nice ride there on the Groms as you guys got to see even took it on Interstate 95 and you see that they do just well and keep up with traffic just fine so no big deal so for the people that want to say that you can't go on the highway with your Groms well you see me do it and uh, it can be done I don't recommend riding on there you know for 15 hours but it can be done so also got to take a nice trip to ducati got to see the v4 the v4r and some other bikes and revisit a little bit down on memory lane that you guys used to see and and see me spend a lot of time in that ducati dealer my buddy sold his he parted ways with it so the next bike when he gets his new one you'll see that one come to the channel and we will also uh do some racing and cool other things and stuff like that so but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video i figured we'd take a uh, trip down to the ducati dealer take a ride on the ground you guys want to see some riding videos nothing too crazy and exciting that i was going to do on the ground but uh we finally got out and a little break in the weather but uh, as you can see now it's it's kind of uh raining again so i was going to go out again today but that's not going to happen so We'll see, but uh, hopefully it clears up and then maybe we'll go out a little bit later. But that's going to wrap it up here for today's video. Again, Facebook, Instagram, at the Speedbug, same name here as YouTube. Peace out.